Hey guys, I want to show you a new product we got. Uh, this is from Dandelion. It's a company we work with that makes these small wooden embroidery hoops that you can use to make necklaces. And they have a new clear acrylic version, which I think is super cool and modern. Um, and it works a little bit differently than the ones we have. So I'm going to test it out today and show you what it looks like. Uh, so I picked some fabric out of our scrap bin. I love this stuff. It's a canvas linen that has little birds on it. And I'm not very scientific. I just picked up a roll of tape that seemed slightly bigger than my hoop, and I used that to trace. And all you're gonna do then is center one of these two wooden discs right in the middle there, and then start gluing. And I think it's important to glue just a little bit at a time because you wanna pull these edges in tight and press them down. I'm kinda gonna go side to side and then work the edges in. My fabric might be a little bit bigger than necessary, but it shouldn't be too much smaller, uh, especially with this fabric which likes to unravel. You want to have enough room to get it up over these edges without unraveling everywhere. Those in. Luckily my hot glue is on the low setting. I got the corners in. Obviously, it's not quite a circle yet, but I'm going to get in there. Now, the answer is always just more hot glue. So I'm actually going to get my glue right in there. Pull that corner in. All right, that worked pretty well. So you can kind of see these little pockets in there almost. So I'm not going to touch that metal part because that's the hottest part of the glue gun. But I am going to kind of stick it in there to squish that glue. And then I can push that down. I'll get the last two edges here. And this one here. many hot glue spaghettis there. All right. So that is pretty secure. My bird's right in the middle. I'm happy about that. Um, it does look not quite round yet, but when you stick it in the hoop, it's going to round out. And then the last thing we're going to do is we want to cover up this back with this backing. So I'm actually going to just put more hot glue right in the middle. Push that right down. You could also use wood glue or craft glue for this, um, but the hot glue's here and ready, so might as well do it. So that's pretty secure. And now I'm gonna pop that into there. I think the front looks pretty nice, the back looks pretty nice. And the last step is to add on this little screw set. So you do one of the nuts. Put it through here. And then the second nut goes on here. And this is a part where it can be helpful to have a pair of tweezers or small pliers to tighten that up farther. Um, but then it's done. I think it's pretty cute. You can put a, you could glue a pin, uh, a pin back on it or you can use this little space in the middle to hang it from a chain to make a necklace, and you've got a super cool modern fabric pendant that you didn't even have to sew.